Hello, I just wanna share this video for me, someone looking for uh, why his uh, cruise is overheating and couldn't find the problem. And the problem in this car, the, the fan was not kicking. I checked the fuses, the relays, and everything. Uh, no leaks. I changed some hoses and still the fan not kicking. I checked the fan with my scanner and the fan works fine. But the problem at the end was that water bulb. You can see how rusty it is. The guy, I mean, the previous owner had uh, a lot of silicone in gaskets for no reason. Broken bolts. That was my main problem. Like you see, now it's working. So, so first of all, I'm gonna take the fuses and relay first. Which is this relay, that relay, uh, switching this relay over here. And this one and I believe that one too. Check your diagram, um, some cars are different. And uh, like you can see, it show you where is the fan, cooling fan, 913, three and eight, and 10 and 12. But I check all that, you can swab them and see if it's the fan is gonna work or no. Also you can, if you have your fan out, you can give it a, a 12 volt on here and there, 12 volt battery. See if your fan is gonna kick or no. If it's not kicking, so you need a fan. If it's kicking, you're gonna keep looking for it. Uh, other problem you're gonna check uh, your thermostat is got uh it's got this uh sensor on it it's come like complete with the sensor and the coolant the coolant sensor right there make sure it's connected this sensor right there make sure it's uh it's good too make sure you have no leaks but I check all that it takes me time to find out the problem at the end was the water bomb also make sure you have no clot on the system so what you can do is disconnect this hose and the hose this is a radiator hose the lower and upper one and just to blow air and see if the water come from the other side make sure it's not plugged or anything and that be it if you have any question just comment below or answer your question thank you for watching please like and subscribe for more videos